right, so here we are, Madison Square Garden, this arena, not synonymous with winning when it comes to the NBA's New York Knicks, but certainly there have been a lot of big UFC moments here over the last few years. No championship for the Knicks, but only fight here. Oh! Big dive and punch Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Back to the feet. Changes his stance. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, here we go early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop your head. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Chiesa, though. Oh, what a punch. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, the game's in the single collar tie. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Justin Gage. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Single collar tie now. Changes his stance. We'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Oh, nice jab by Gage. Kies's lower jaw does not take him down. Cut. Take him down. Cut. Over and over. He secured these takedowns. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. 90 seconds now to go in the round. Keep working, keep working. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, hammer fist here by Chiesa, though. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Thirty seconds now to go in round one. Ten seconds to go in round one. Five minutes in the books. some of the replays from that previous round, DC. A lot of good action for fight fans over those five minutes. I mean, high pace, high intensity, all action in the first round. Both landed multiple strikes. What a great round of fighting. You ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. Good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Nice punch there by Kiesa. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Oh! Shows him the left and then follows it up with a right. Nice one-two punch there by Gaethje. Single oh, collar tie yep. there. Right there. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. The right hand just misses. That beautiful overhand, great punch. Oh, there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know it's in for a good day. Kiesa 
Owens has got full mount now. Going for the arm here. up now and now the damage is about to start oh he's got the ground and pound going now he's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now he's able to relax here and he understands being a veteran of so many fights that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now looking to do something with that left arm. He's isolating the Kimura attack. Notice he'll pick up his left leg, step over the head. Once he gets him on his side, he'll start to apply pressure to try to get the finish. The Kimura's not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure and he's out. that usually makes you tap. 30 seconds to go in round two. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Seconds winding down in round two. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, well, the crowd enjoyed those five minutes. DC, take us through some of the highlights from that previous Face punching at its best. Ha, he loaded it up, he threw it straight, he threw it long, and over and over, that punch found the target. It allowed him to really dictate the pace of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a little... The gut DC, he's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight hooks are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. He lands a big knee to the body. Kiesa gets the takedown as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do. Right into side control. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his head back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. He's going to tag armbar here. Oh, nice job using this. Nicely done. His opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some real good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. I mean, how many can he take? We have crossed the midpoint of this one. Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. Okay, now we can escape. I mean, how many can he take? Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Chiesa. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity patting. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. Kies is right back to the full mount. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Kies is right back to the full mount here. Oh, useful strike on the ground that was. 
Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. All right, so here we go. You can feel Ready? the tension. Fourth Ready? round is underway. We'll see who has the upper hand here. You feel it inside of the arena. The fighters feel it inside of the octagon. It's palpable. The energy is crazy because you understand that in the next ten minutes, Someone's gonna get a belt strapped around their waist. It's amazing. Oh, head kick. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> now goes in and secures the takedown. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, well, the strike lands there, so he did hit the desired target, but it almost looked like slow motion to me. Yeah, he's moving in slow motion. He's throwing everything at his opponent, and he couldn't get him out of there. Now it's just a matter of trying to survive and not get knocked out himself. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Yes, his lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Punches blocked. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Yes, it gets caught with that punch. Level change. Oh, he scene. went single. Well, Tina hit outside this dude for a ride. Oh, takes it for a ride. What a fantastic takedown. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Or now he's looking for a Kimura attack. He's going to try to use that to sweep. It's not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh man, that was slick. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted, he's been beaten. Final seconds of round four. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. He got some things done offensively, but defense still an issue. And as such, the cut on his lip is only getting worse. All right, so there's the horn. That means it's the end of the round, and a lot of good offensive wrestling work from him over those previous five. You're doing great, okay? I want more of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all offense, man. He's not... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase submission. Back to the feet now. Oh, well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom.
trying. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. Attempting a triangle. He's over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixed up his attack. When he didn't stay the course, he mixed it up. He went high because the opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got to hurt very bad. Well, good news, bad news, right? The strike there lands, but just not much steam on it because. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks good. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he is proven to be a hard guy to buck off in this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. Really does grind on you with his with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat, or if you're going to give your. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. All right, so there's the final horn, and what a performance by underdog challenger tonight. He had it all going on the feet, and in all likelihood, we've got a new champion atop this division. If you're going to take a belt from a UFC champion, your game has to be on point. This young man came prepared mentally, he came prepared physically, and it feels like he used his striking to get the job done. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 48-46. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, and...